In this video, we are going to continue with sigma notation. You will find this on page 64 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Find the value of, okay, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger that you see better. Okay. Now the problem, or not a problem, but in this it's from 2 to 20. So if you start counting from 2 to 20, it's quite a lot. So if there are too many terms to even out, you can calculate the first three terms, determine whether it's an AP or GP, and then use the SN formula, either for AP or for GP. So I'm just starting with two, three, four consecutive numbers. I go on, and I know that the last term will be 20. So can you remember now I first determine is it the IP or a GP? And I see it's an IP. Okay. Now if it's an IP, I just want to see. If it's an IP, then this this is the first, that's the difference. Oh this is the first term, that's the common difference. And the last term is negative 30. So I use this formula uh, whereas um, it's 90 terms. Okay. So there which I show you. So from 2 to 20, and if you have to, you can count it on your fingers, but it actually works like this. You say 20 minus 2, but then you add 1, because it's inclusive, that 2. Okay, so that's why, and if you don't believe, then go and count. And we'll take an easy example. If I say from 2 to 5, okay, now 5 minus 2 is just 3, but if you say 2, 3, 4, 5. Can you see it's actually 4? It's one more because that 2 is in, included. So you can subtract it, but then you must just add 1. So always take an easy one and first understand it and then, then you go further. Okay. And then I use the other formula, the last term. So it's A plus L and I just substitute and I'm getting my answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, and let's quickly see. I want you to do uh, number E and number F. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just move it. Okay, let's start. The first one, number E. Oh, let's just go. So this is my sigma notation, and if I'm looking nice, it's just very small. It's t, it was bigger, t is equal to 3, and that is 20. And then it's a half, and it's t minus 1. So, okay, again stop. First write your, you can even last, write your last term, not necessary, but you must count the amount of terms. Okay, so it's a half. And then it's 3 minus 1 plus a half. And then it's 4 minus 1 plus a half. And then it's 5 minus 1. Okay, and it's going on. Now, um, it's just because I used that formula that I worked out the loss. So in this case, it's a half to the power of 2 plus a half to the power of 3 plus a half to the power of 4. So it's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16. Okay, now if you, uh, it's already like you get the feeling it's a GP. So let's just test if it's a GP. So T2 divide T1. This is term 1. This is term 2. This is term 3. And T3 divide T2. Okay, so let's just do that. So in this case, it's 1 over 8 divide a quarter. So it's going to be multiply 4 over 1. So that's going to be a half. And this is going to be 1 over 16 divide 1 over 8. So multiply 8 over 1. And that's also a half. So therefore, it is a GP. GP and the value of R is a half. Let's move on. So, how many terms? So, to get N, and it's rather straight, another color, N, it's going to be 
Now remember what I said. It's 20 minus 3, but at 1. So it's 17, so it's 18 terms. And if you need to count on your fingers, count on your fingers to, to see that it makes true sense. Okay. So basically, I'm going to say, I'm using this formula, S in, and now R is smaller, so it's A, so it's 1 minus R in over 1 minus R. So in the place of A, what is A? Uh, A is my first term. You didn't write it, but the value of A was, uh, where's the first? A quarter. So it's going to be a quarter. 1 minus, in the value of R, is a half, and that's to the power of 18, and that's 1 minus a half. And if you press that on your calculator, now as I said in previous videos, I prefer first pressing this. So 1 minus bracket, or, or 1 divided 2, close the bracket, to the power 18, um, multiply a quarter, divide a half. On my calculator, I get 0 0.49999. So I think if I approximate it to three significant figures, it will be 0 0.500 because one, two, three significant figures. Okay, and that's the answer. I gave him the next one because it's, it's algebra and it's in terms of something. And sometimes I don't think you really struggle on this level because you're going to do it quite a lot so actually it's just good to practice it to keep on practicing it okay so let's look at f so this is my sigma and then i have x is one and i have 10 and my formula is a plus bracket x minus one d okay and then um, i'm looking at i start at one so it's going to be 1 plus, oh no, A, no, 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 I substitute in X. So keep the A, A plus 1 minus 1, and keep the D, plus, and now I go to 2. Uh, okay, I think in, in this case, because it's only up to 10, it's better to write it out. You can use a formula, but it's just 10. So I think it's better to write it just out. So A plus 2 minus 1 D plus, it's going to be quite an odd, A plus 3 minus 1. You will now see the pattern. A plus 4 minus 1 D plus A plus 5 minus 1 D. It's nothing wrong to write it out. Uh, 6 minus 1 D um, A plus... 7 minus 1, and you could have already just did it in the second step. Okay, but let me just continue this. 8 minus 1d plus a plus 9 minus 1d plus, and uh, it's up to 10. a plus 10 minus 1d. And that will give you an answer of, okay, let me just simplify it. 1 minus 1, so it's 0, so it will just be a. That will be A plus D. That will be A plus 2D plus A plus 3D plus A plus 4D plus A plus 5D plus, and there, A plus 6D plus A plus 7D plus A plus 8d and the last one plus a plus 9d okay and if i move it up it's equal now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's going to be 10a plus and now i just add up all of this so it's two so it's five so it's nine it's 14 it's 20, it's 27, it's 35, so uh, 35, oh, it seems to me one is missing. Okay, let's just count it again. So, it's one, oh, it's three. 
then it's 6. I forgot this one. So this was 3, then it's 6, okay, then it's 44 plus 1. Okay, but let me just count it again with you. Stupid. Okay, but let's do it. It's 1, there's 3, that's 6, and that's 10. And that's 15, and that's 21, and that's 28, and that is... 28 and that is 36 and that's 45 okay you could have used the calculator also okay maybe that would have spared a little time okay that's how we do it